All right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, what is today? Today is Friday. Yes, it's Friday. August 21st, 2020. My name is Justin. I am a program assistant here at the Long Island Alzheimer's and Dementia Center. I know it's been a minute for some of you who come here for exercise on Fridays, you know, between technical difficulties and power outages and a whole bunch of stuff. We've had some problems, but we are back here on Fridays. I am back. I'm ready to do some great exercise with you guys. Um, I hope you guys have all been well since we've last seen each other. You're staying safe, being able to enjoy the weather. I know it's really nice out. We're nearing the end of summer, but it's still great to go out, do some things, of course, safely. But if you've been like me and you're just staying home, I still find that it's important that you get some exercise, some activity in your day. Anyways, even if you're staying right in your room, that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing some great chair exercises. All you really need is a nice little space to work out. I have like a nice sturdy chair with a good back. Um, if you've seen my videos in the past, I always have a couple of water bottles with me. Not only is it important to stay hydrated, but we're actually going to use those as tools in our exercise in a little bit. Um, what else? Just a few more reminders while we let some people join in. You know, we have live activities here on Facebook Live, Monday through Saturday at two o'clock. We do everything from, of course, exercise to exercising our brains with trivia activities. We have musical sing-alongs, cooking videos, and we have so many other fun activities, both here on Facebook Live and amongst the organization as a whole, to keep you guys occupied and entertained and active while you're staying home until we can meet in person again which I promise will be very soon. Um, if you miss any of our live streams, just go right here on our Facebook page. We have them all archived or go on our website, lidementia.org. While you're there, if you can donate in any way to our COVID relief fund, it really helps us to continue bringing programming to you guys to keep you guys safe and happy and healthy. And yeah. Um, oh, and of course, give this video a like, share it with your friends. Comment down below, let me know that you're here. I know I can't see you guys individually, but it's nice to see in the comments that you guys are participating, you're active. Yeah, all right, let's get started. I am going to back up. You don't have to do this part, I just wanted you guys to be able to see my whole body, because we're gonna do a full body stretch here. There we go, nice and centered. What we're gonna do is start off, we're gonna extend our arms and legs wide in the air. And when we do that, we're gonna take a deep breath in through our nostrils, exhale through our mouth, all together, ready? Deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Awesome, let's try it one more time, ready? Big breath in, big breath out. There you go, stretching our body, giving a nice warm up, whether you've been up for six hours or you woke up five minutes ago, it doesn't matter, we're about to get active. Let's start with our feet, start at the bottom of our body, nice and simple. All I want you to do is take your right leg, hover it in the air, and you're just gonna rotate your ankle, just like I'm doing here, rotating that foot. And what we're doing here, we're getting the blood flowing down our legs, down to our feet, giving it a nice wake up, being like, hey, we're gonna be doing some exercise, you need to get up, be active. Very simple, very easy, just like that. Get the blood flung down to your feet. Awesome. Go ahead, just a few more rotations and let's go ahead and rest that right leg, awesome. Switching over to our left leg, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Just let it hover off the ground, not too high, not too far. And we're just rotating that ankle. There you go. Once again, we're getting that blood flowing down our legs, down to our feet, waking our foot up. Maybe it was a little tired and a bit of a hibernation. Nice and simple, just warming up our feet. There you go. And go ahead and relax. For this next one, if not already, go ahead, sit on the edge of your chair. I want your back straight, your shoulders aligned with your waist just like that, your feet flat on the floor, right in front of you, there you go. 
What I want you to do is you're gonna take your right leg and I want you to extend it out just like that so that we're putting our heel to touch the ground. But we're gonna retract our toes so that our foot is kind of coming up just like this so that your toes are pointing nice and high right to the ceiling. And you're gonna feel a bit of a stretch underneath your calf. And now what I want you to do, you're slowly gonna retract that leg back into position so that we're just slowly sliding our heel back and forth. And what's great about this exercise is it's great for any knee pains, any problems in the joints right here, if your legs are feeling a bit sore, or maybe if you're about to go out on a walk or a run, this is a great exercise for your legs all around. There you go, bring it out and drag it in. Maybe even here. A bit of squeaking on your shoes, that's all right. Out and in, out, in, there you go. Out, in one more time. Out and drag it in, awesome. Go ahead and relax that right leg. Left leg, we're gonna do the same exact thing. I want you to take your left leg, extend it out. Heel touching the ground, toes, we're gonna point them up nice and high to the skies, there you go and go ahead and drag that leg slowly back into position. Out and in, there you go. Once again, a great exercise for your knees, whether it be to cure some knee pains or soreness, maybe, um, I don't know, again, if you're going out for a run, a good stretch to warm up, and you're getting a bit of a stretch in your calves underneath, which is also a great exercise. Building those calf muscles, there you go. Out, and in, one more time. Out, in, and relax, relax. Go ahead, relax. Awesome, you guys are doing great. Got a few more things I wanna do with our legs. Once again, sitting nice and straight, edge of your chair, feet flat on the floor, back straight. Am I missing anything? <laughs> All right. Take your hands, just like this, and I want you to hover them above your knees, not too high, about maybe a hand's length, right above the knees, and we're just gonna lift our knees going up and up, back and forth. Just doing a bit of a knee raise here. You don't have to go too fast on this, nice and simple. Just lifting it off the ground. There you go. Up and up, back and forth. Very simple, very easy. Just making contact with our hands, with our palm. Knee to palm, just like that. Up and up. There you go. A few more. And go ahead and relax. Shake it off, shake it off. Awesome. You guys are doing great. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's leg day. Let's really get a bit of a workout. Let's really march those feet now. And I want you moving your arms too. We're giving our arms a bit of a warm up. And we're just gonna march in place, going back. And fourth, get a bit of cardio, get that heart pumping. There you go. What's great about all of these exercises that we're doing today is that they're exercises you can do right at home, basically anywhere. You know, you don't need to be going out to the gym or anything. I know gyms may not be open for another week or so, but in any case, you know, these are workouts you can do in your bedroom, do it in your living room, do it outside while you're watching TV. Do it in the car, you know, it's almost endless where you can do these exercises. As long as you're doing a bit of activity, it's all that matters. There you go, let's go for a few more seconds. Just marching in place, getting that heart pumping, there you go. And go ahead and relax, relax. Oh God, you guys are doing amazing, awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and bring myself forward a little bit. I think we did a great leg exercise, but we're gonna move to our upper body now. So let me get a little bit closer to you guys. But before we do that, let's do another full body stretch. Once again, arms in the air, legs out, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. <laughs> let's go guys. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's do a bit of stretching with our arms now. 
What I want you to do, very simple, sitting nice and straight, just take your right arm, raise it nice and there, give me a wave, extend it out, fingers wide open, just like this, and I want you to keep your arm as straight as possible, all the way out, and then clench it into a fist, give it a nice squeeze, just like that, and then let it out. There you go. Go ahead, close your fingers into a fist, once again, nice and tight, and then just let it go. Now let's go ahead and close and open our hands just a bit. You may be thinking, how is this an exercise? But I promise you, working every single inch of your body, no matter how much or how little, we just need to get a bit of activity going. And this is a kind of a warm up precursor because we're gonna be doing a lot more exercise with our arms in just a second. I promise you, you guys are gonna say it's too much. You're gonna wish we're just doing these hand stretches again. I'm kidding, it's gonna be real fun. Let's go ahead and rest that right arm. Left arm, we're gonna do the same thing. Raise it nice and high, give me a nice wave. Extend it out, fingers wide open. Extend that arm all the way out. And go ahead and close it into a fist, nice and tight, a good stretch, and release. Awesome. Once again, squeeze that fist right there, nice and tight. Put all your energy right into there and then go ahead and let it go. Awesome. Now let's just go ahead and open and close a few times, warming up those fingers, warming up that hand. There you go. All right. And let's go ahead and relax. Awesome. Let's do some arm stretches now. I'm gonna go, let's change it up actually. Let's do a ballerina stretch first to start off. What I want you to do, take your left arm, go ahead and let that just dangle over your side. And what I want you to do with your right arm, extend it nice and high in the air, kind of make this curve shape. And the reason I call this a ballerina stretch, if you've ever seen a ballerina, they're doing a stretch like this, going over your body, just like that. Let your left arm droop down while your right arm reaches across, going over and over just like that. One, two, a few more, down, and relax. There you go. Let's do the same thing, just switch it up. Let your right arm dangle by your side. Left arm, bring that curved arch right over your head. And we're gonna go over and over. Not touching the ground, not going all the way down. Just a bit of a stretch to the side. Working on those arms, moving our body. There you go. Down and down. One more time. Awesome, shake it off, shake it off. Great. Next, what I want you to do, take your right arm again, raise it nice and high, but this time extend it out and keep those fingers together. And kind of like a palm, like a stop sign, just like that. With your left arm, you're gonna reach over your fingers and just stretch back on the hand not too much, we're not trying to break your hand here. Just enough that you feel a bit of tension and you're gonna keep those arms as straight as possible meeting in the center right in front of you. Hovering them. And go ahead and relax. Same thing now, just switch it up. Left arm, make that stop sign just like this. Right arm over the fingers. Pull them back, nice and simple, not too hard and stretch right in front of you. Go ahead and relax. Next thing we're gonna do a kind of a crossed arm type stretch. Take your left arm, make a fist just like this. Keep it right in front of you, right in front. Right arm, we're gonna reach across the body and stretch over. I know I'm cut off on the screen, but you guys get the idea. We're crisscrossing our arms, making a cross just like that. You're gonna feel that stretch in your shoulder, reaching over the front of your body. And relax. Change it up, right arm, make a fist, left arm across, full stretch, just like that. Once again, you're gonna feel that stretch in your shoulder, really pulling your arm out. And relax, relax, there you go. You guys are doing amazing. I think we did a good amount of arm stretches to kind of do a full torso, kind of loosen ourselves up a bit. What I want you to do, you're gonna grab onto both of your shoulders, 
right across, kind of like you're giving yourself a nice hug. Give yourself a big bear hug. And I just want you twisting your body to the right and the left. We're going back and forth, twisting our body. Just a little bit, not too much. We're not trying to get busy here. But we're just twisting our body so that we can loosen up our waist. Again, getting a bit more active there. Awesome. And relax. Now for this next part, if you have some handles on the side of your chair, go ahead and grab onto those now. If not, what I like to do, I like to put my arms in the air. What we're gonna do, we're gonna twist our body as far right as we can, keeping the front, like our legs flat on the floor, just turning our waist and our shoulders and our head all the way to the right, twisting our body, and go ahead and relax. We're gonna go to the left side now, do that exact same thing. Grab onto those handles and put your arms in the air. Feet right on the floor, flat in front of you, but the rest of our body, we're gonna twist to the left all the way over. You're really gonna feel that all the way across and bring it back right in front of you. All right, you guys are doing great. Shake it off, shake it off. All right, I think this is a good time to break in our tools. Like I said, you need a couple of water bottles. If you don't have any water bottles, you know, just find anything you can grip onto. I don't know, like a Febreze can, um, skinny can of soup, a toilet paper roll. I don't know, <laughs> whatever you, you can. If you don't have anything to grab onto, don't worry about it for this week. I just find that in this next set of exercise, it's great to have something to hold onto as a bit of a guide. Because what we're going to do is we're going to do some weightlifting. Now you may be saying to yourself, how are we doing weightlifting if we're just using water bottles? You know, we're not here about building huge muscles or like lifting as much as we can. We're just here about the form and the exercise of it all. So go ahead, grab onto your imaginary weights. And what I want you to do, you're going to extend both of your arms out just like this back of the bottle, meaning end to end, and we're gonna start with the bicep curl. We're gonna bring our arms up and back down. Up and down, we're curling those arms up. Not too far, but make sure you're going at the same pace that your arms are moving at the same rate. There you go. Up and down, up and down. See, we don't need any expensive weights or anything like that. You can just use whatever you have in your household and you're still getting a great workout. Just like that. Up and down one more time. Up and down. Awesome, go ahead and give that a rest. We're gonna change it up now. I'm gonna go into kind of a bench press. So what you're gonna do is take your bottles again. This time your caps meeting in the middle, and we're gonna make an L shape with each arm, just like this. So I'm hovering my arms right at my sides, yeah, right at your head, and you're making an L shape, and we're gonna push our arms up, and then bring it back to that L shape. You don't wanna put your arms down. You know, if we put our arms down every time, we're just wasting energy, wasting time. So we're gonna go up as high as you can, and back to that L shape. Let's do that a few times. Up and down, there you go. Now I forgot to mention, I'm just here acting as a guide. You don't have to follow my pace exactly. You know, if you feel I'm going too fast, feel free to slow down. If I'm going too slow for you, by all means, speed up. What I will say is make sure you're just keeping a consistent pace, that you're not overdoing it in the beginning or you're not being too sluggish so that you can keep going at the same rate the entire way through. There you go, one more time up. And relax, there you go. I don't know about you, I'm already feeling that in my arms. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do a shoulder press. So we're gonna bring our arms back up again, right in front of you, almost at eye level. And we're gonna bring our arms all the way out to the point that they turn around and bring it back in and we're shoulder press out and in, out and in. There you go, back and forth. Just like that, really working out those arms, working out that chest. 
And remember, while you're doing this, you make sure to be breathing in and out the entire time. Very important. There you go. If you feel like we're doing a bit too much, go ahead and take a break. If you're watching this video later, feel free to pause it. There's no shame in taking your time. There you go. Out. And one more time. Out. And in. And relax those arms. Relax those arms. There you go. You guys do it amazing. Let's do one more with our bottles. And I would call this the rowing. This is on what we're gonna do, sitting nice and straight. Take your bottles, push them out right in front of you with your back of your hands facing up and we're gonna pretend like we're rowing a boat. There you go. Moving those bottles in front of you in a full circular motion. And I almost like to move my back too so it really feels like we're rowing. And this is one of those exercises where I feel the bottles really helps out. Because now that you're gripping onto the bottles, you feel like you're really rowing a boat. It's causing more tension in your arms, which is a great workout. You're really building that muscle, really pushing your body. There you go. Forward and forward. There you go. You guys are doing amazing. Do a few more times. And go ahead and relax. Oh man, you guys, you're doing outstanding. I know I can't see you guys, but I know, I just know you guys are doing great. Go ahead, get rid of your bottles. You need to drink them, go ahead. <coughs> I think I might take a sip, oh man. Very important to stay hydrated. Always, not just when you're exercising, all the time. Make sure you're drinking a lot of fluids. It's great for your health, great for your mind. Just, you know, it's great. <laughs> All right. Oh man, that was a great workout. I think we have time for another major activity. So I'm gonna bring in the punches now. I mean that literally. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some kickboxing. We're gonna do some punching. It's gonna be great. What I want you to do when you're ready, bring your arms back in the air. No bottles this time, just bring your arms up. And I want you to extend your arm out just like this. And then your other arm out, just like that. Going back and forth, we're punching right in front of us. Nice and simple. And you may notice I'm not swinging super hard. You know, I don't have a punching bag in front of me that I'm gonna like destroy or anything like that. I don't care about extremely hard punches. I care more about your form, that you're keeping a consistent pace, that you're punching, extending your arm, all the way out, keeping a good position, your back straight, feet flat on the floor, and you keep going back and forth, back and forth, just like that. Keep it going, you guys are doing amazing. All right, we're gonna change it up now. Next punch we're gonna do, we're gonna do kind of like a roundhouse, punching across our body. So I'm gonna go ahead, bring it back in, and we're gonna swing now across and across, back and forth, just like this. Now you may notice with my non-punching arm, I'm always keeping it up in the air, I'm not putting it back down. And the reason why I do that, not only is it great, you know, self-defense wise, but in a more practical sense, if I swing and then put my arm down, and I swing and put my arm down, and I gotta bring this back up and back up, I'm wasting so much time and energy if I keep my arms up like this, I can go back and forth, back and forth consistently. Plus, it's also, you may not realize, it's a great workout for that non-punching arm. Just keeping that in the air, it doesn't seem like a lot of work, but once you start punching for a few minutes, you're starting to start getting tired. But you know, that's great. That means you're really pushing your body, you're working out even the non-active parts of your body, which is amazing. All right, I think we did a lot of punching across. This time, let's go ahead and punch up some uppercuts. Let me straight jab up and up, up, just like that. A nice good swing up the body. Once again, keeping that non-punching arm in the air. This is great cardio. You may hear it in the tone of my voice. I'm starting to lose my brows. I hope you guys are keeping up with me. Once again, don't follow my pace exactly if you don't want to. Just go at a pace that's comfortable for you, yet also consistent 
Meaning throughout this, all this, you're going at the same pace. Keep pushing through, you guys are doing amazing. Last one we're gonna do, we're gonna do our shoulders. We're gonna swing across and up, kind of combining the last two. So let me show you, you're gonna go shoulder, across the body, full swing, over and over. Shoulders, just like that, across and across, a nice full swing. There you go. Remember to breathe in and out through all this. Very important that you're getting good oxygen in your body, staying hydrated with some water. You're not overdoing it, you know. It's supposed to be a healthy activity. You we're not, not trying to overdo it here. All right, and let's go a few more swings. And shake it off, shake it off. Oh man, what time is it? Okay. I think we have time to do our combos. I know we've been saying how go at your own pace, what's comfortable for you. That's awesome. <clears throat> now it's time to really put that to the test. And what I wanna do, we're gonna do all four different punches we just did back to back, 10 at a time, a bit of a combination. Not only are we gonna really push our body to the limit on this one, we're gonna use our brains, get a bit of mental, awareness activity here. I want you guys counting out loud with me. You know, back at the center when we used to do this, I would tell my friends, I want you guys screaming loud so that people on the outside of the building can hear you. Not gonna ask you to do that today. I mean, if you want to, by all means, go ahead. But you may anger some people in your household. So just count to yourself, but I want you counting out loud. It's great. It's gonna help you keep in pace, keep you you're working out your brain, working out your body, doing all that. So just a quick reminder, counting to 10, we're gonna punch forward, then across, then up, and shoulders. If you get lost, I'm right here. I'm doing it along with you. We're gonna do this together. We're gonna be great. You guys are gonna do this. Put your arms in the air. Let's go, guys. You got this. Ready? All together, we're counting out loud. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Last shoulder is one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Give yourself a round of applause. You guys did amazing. Oh man. Like I said before, if you need to take a sip of water, go ahead, do that. Mm. Again, always important to stay hydrated. Man, you guys did amazing today. We did a lot of working out. That was awesome. I'm glad you guys kept up. Let's go ahead and slow it down. Sitting nice and straight, just go ahead and roll your shoulders just like that. Kind of like a nice little shoulder massage. You wanna move your arms forward as you do that. That's perfectly fine. Oh man, you guys are great. You guys did so much activity. Awesome guys. Let's change it up, roll our shoulders back. I always like to say, you know, you're getting at least 30 minutes of activity a day, whether it be working out with us, you know, going out for a walk, participating in any activities that you feel safe and comfortable. Just getting a bit of activity, some activeness, especially while we're staying home and staying safe is very important. Last thing I want you to do, close your eyes and I want you to rotate your neck, rotate your head in a full rotation, just like this. Nice and full, reaching all the way around, shaking that head, just like this. All right, guys, go ahead and do one more full rotation and then bring your head back up and go ahead and rotate the other way. 
Once again, rotating that head in a full circular motion. And what I like to imagine is as I do this, I'm shaking out any bad vibes, any negativity or anxiety I may be feeling. I'm shaking it out of my head and only leaving room for positivity and good vibes. You know, it's Friday, it's almost the weekend. Let's go ahead and have ourselves an amazing weekend. Bring your head back up, and when you're ready, go ahead and open your eyes. And all together, let's do that full body stretch one more time, stretching our arms in the air, legs out, taking a deep breath in through our nose, exhale through the mouth, all together, deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One final time, deep breath in. And deep breath out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for participating with me today. It's great to be back. You know, um, if you like this video, if you had fun today, like it, share it with your friends, comment down below. Even if you're watching this later, I just like to see that you guys participated with me, that you guys are active and you're staying safe and healthy. Um, once again, if you miss any of our live streams, they're all here on our Facebook page. Just scroll down below. You can find all of them archived right there. So you can participate with us whenever you want. Um, keep an eye out for more fun activities that we are providing. Fun virtual activities, rather, that we're providing to you guys. To keep you guys occupied and safe and entertained. Um, we'll be back here tomorrow, 2 o'clock. I know, believe we're with Steve doing a great cooking video that's going to be awesome be sure to tune in until then guys my name is justin thank you be safe be well and be kind to one another have a nice day